this here, like, you can see that little river there, that's the beginning of the Athabasca. And see how flat all this is around at the base of these mountains where the Athabasca flows. It goes all the way to Jasper, of course, and then uh, turns east. This is some of the features around here. Great place for snowshoeing or whatever your activity. You can go right in a pass like that. Up in the middle of nowhere, you can do some backcountry camping with the right gear. We're coming up now to the glacier, which is the headwaters for the uh, Athabasca. glacial melt. That's what those uh, ice climbers look for, that stuff there. Like, they get, they get in that stuff and they climb right up it. They, uh, I don't know how they, the first guy goes up but, to anchor, but it's a pretty serious terrain up there, vertical terrain, 512 or whatever they call it. quite sure what that glacier is because I don't think I'm yet at the Athabasca but that one there's some glaciers up there that's for sure in the back there somewhere and these mountains are on the foreground there's not, no formations in there territory up here. I'm just looking at these two crows here. They're uh, perched on the uh, thing there. They're just looking for, uh, maybe looking for a handout, but interesting couple, aren't they? Hey guys. here, a barrier for us. Oh, there's the Glacier Skywalk. I apologize. Okay. That's it right there. Okay. It looks down into the basin there, about 800 feet. Pack up 
there, so most of the snowpack, or I should say, uh, most of the avalanches were rock. That little ledge, about one third the way up, is where the bus drives up, up to the glacier, and it's um, just a bit of a get a take a tundra bus up there and then they can actually go on the glacier walk on the glacier i won't be going on it today because i have prior commitments but it's it's up there this is all like not much snow there but there's uh this little valley gets a lot of wind here i find She is in all her glory. It's amazing. Look at that, that bluish green tint, right? As she's building for winter, there's kind of a little uh, waterfall effect up there. As you can see, the glaciers it forms up there as well. Most of it's coming down between that pass. Usually you can drive way down there. There's another little road that's not accessible in winter. There's one that goes down there. And of course it's a very, it's a very deserted place here now, but that parking lot over there, I haven't, it's worse than Micmac Mall. Uh, it is packed. Literally, you could walk out there now. There's enough. You wouldn't need snowshoes probably for some of this. Uh, a fair bit of drifts in between these little mounds of dirt. Anyway. 